Um, just left urgent care. I have COVID. It's probably my biggest back moment known to man. Here is the dress. It Let's try the Starbucks again after my last experience. Here's the thing, we're out of ice today. Okay. Getting ready for the game. It okay, finish my hair, it looks really good. Uh, I was gonna say, wait, it's Thursday? Yeah, he's got that one. You were right, the one. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is not how I plan on starting my work week in my life or whatever this video is gonna be. Um, just left urgent care. I have COVID. Did not know that. I haven't been feeling great the past couple days, but I've been on medicine and long story short, the medicine wasn't helping. And so I decided to come to the urgent care and I was like, okay, these are my symptoms. They tested me for strep, flu, and COVID and I have COVID. And the thing is, is I haven't had a fever, which is like a common occurring thing is usually you have a fever when you're on when you have covid and she said that like usually they say you can go back to work when you don't have a fever thing is, is i haven't had a fever at all so i didn't think it was that but apparently it is she just sent over some medicine i was gonna go back to work it's 2 45 which like i'm clear to go back to work but at the same time like i have covid and i don't like it is contagious so i don't know if it's like if i go back if i wait the 2020 in me would say, don't go back. But if the doctor's like, oh, you can go back, I'm like, do I go or do I not go? I'm off work and I'm on the hunt to find masks because when I went to CVS to get my eye drops, 30 or 50 pack of masks was $25. I don't need 50 masks. And I was like, okay, let me come to the local Walmart. They'll for sure have masks, no worries. They're out as well. So now we're gonna try Target and fingers crossed. And then I don't know what I'm gonna get for dinner because I still want a burger. But if that's like two out the way because that's at the summit, I'm gonna go Proceed to- Proceed to the route. Then turn right onto Wing Palisades. Stop. I put those eye drops in and I can literally feel it in my throat and it's disgusting. Like it tastes chemically and like something's wrong. I don't know, but we're finna head that way good morning it is the next morning I a lot better today than i did yesterday yesterday i feel like was the worst of it for me which usually that's how covid works like you have to get through the rough of it first which is honestly why i didn't think i had covid at first because i didn't lose my sense of taste or smell at all and usually i feel like that's one of the more common symptoms is you lose your taste or smell and I didn't lose either. Didn't really lose my appetite. Like I wouldn't want to eat, but I would make myself eat to take my medicine. So it was fine. But I had physical therapy this morning. It went well, got my next appointment scheduled. She honestly, like I love my physical therapist cause I feel like we're close in age and she's just really helpful. And obviously she does a good job. I keep coming back. I think I have two more appointments for sure. And then we'll kind of assess where I am after that. I got a total of 15, and I know for a fact I haven't had 15 visits, but I also don't have the time frame for 15 visits because I'm not even here that long. But I'm headed to work. I did get some breakfast. I have been eating breakfast the past couple of days just because, like I said, I'm trying to finish up this last bit of antibiotics. I think I'm gonna take them. Today's gonna be my last day, and then I'm just gonna be done. I'm gonna still take the Deconex. Which, to be honest, I don't know if there's really a point in taking it because Deconex is for sinus issues, and this is not sinus issues. This is every bit of COVID, so. Might be a waste, but I'm gonna take them anyways. I look rough. Real rusty, dusty, crusty, but I had to get me a crumble cookie. This is probably my biggest back moment known to man. I saw their lineup, and they had vanilla bean cupcake. I was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna give me one. And before I could even leave, I ate half. It's pretty good. Honestly, a very basic cookie. Would I get it again? Probably, but is it something to write home about? Most definitely not. I was gonna make steak for dinner, like steak sandwiches from the leftovers that I had. But the thing is, is it's 6.30, and if you know me, I will say this time and time again, steak does not digest well for me at all. So if I eat that steak right now, I will not be able to go to sleep because it will be sitting on my chest. And if I go to sleep, I'm gonna wake up with severe heartburn. So I'm just not gonna eat it. Honestly, not that hungry anyways, and if I am hungry, I'll just have some Rotel because that's super light and I can eat that no problem. I don't know how I feel about my work outfit today. Like, it's not ugly and like the jewelry's cute, but it's a really long dress. Like, once I'm done getting ready, I'll actually show you the whole outfit, but it's long. Like, the dress is at my ankles and I never wear long dresses. I haven't worn them in forever. Like, I used to be a maxi skirt dress or maxi dress die hard fan but as i got older i was like mm, maybe not so much 
So putting this on, I'm like, do I actually like this or not? I don't know. It's not ugly and the color is very pretty. It's just, it's long and I never wear anything this long, at least not a dress. I have to do stuff like right when I get to work. We were supposed to have a meeting this morning, but we're actually not having it anymore, which is perfect. Cause that's the meeting where we have to be there at 8 a.m. Cause that's when the meeting starts. But the like one off on that is you get breakfast. But we don't have that this morning. But when I get there, I have to figure stuff out with my payroll because it's off this week. Like the amount is off and also when I get paid. I usually get paid every Wednesday and this week it's on Thursday, which usually that happens when you submit payroll late. But as long as you submit payroll by Monday, you're fine. So I don't know why it's a day late. And then also on top of that, why is it short? Because I work like the same hours every week. So like I get paid the same amount. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking if it was 40.5 or 41.5, but I work 41.5 hours and usually I get like this certain dollar amount and this week it's less and I have a feeling that somebody might have entered it in the system incorrectly because like there is a little room for confusion. So like we have to do it on an Excel spreadsheet and you basically put like your hours per day and so like Monday through Thursday I work eight and a half hours and then Friday I work seven and a half hours, but that would put me at 41.5. So in order to like make it even, cause there's an overtime column and a regular column. So in the regular column on Fridays, I put six and then the overtime would be 1.5 because that's the 1.5 hours that I would have. Just with the 8.5 Monday through Thursday in six hours would give me 40 hours. But I worked more than that, so it's 41.5. And for some odd reason this week, that, it's been like that every week. Like every week, that's how my schedule works. I get off an hour early on Fridays. But for some odd reason, my pay this week is short. So I need to go into my like payroll and figure out what that whole issue is and why it's that way. On tonight's agenda, we actually have a football game that we're going to, like all the interns and the co-ops. So I'm excited about that. I'm gonna put on a little bit more of a matte makeup look today. Although it is very well possible that when I come home, I'm gonna take it off and redo it all together. I wanna avoid doing that but there's no telling with me. I took my biology midterm last night, which I'm a little confused because in the syllabus, literally in highlighted yellow words, she's like, you have to use honor lock to take your midterm. But the thing is, is like, she doesn't have honor lock set up on the midterm. And she's like, you have to have your camera on, but doesn't have honor lock linked to it. And you can't just log in and do it. There's different types of proctoring systems. So there's, I can't think of the one right now, but there's one where you literally have to download it to your computer. And it's like a whole separate desktop app that you have to log into. And it like locks down everything else. So it's just the exam that's open versus honor lock. Someone, it's Respondus, that's what it is. Respondus is the one where it's like an app you have to download. And then you log in to your like student credentials and stuff. And that's how you take the exam versus honor lock, a regular website it just locks down your browser or it doesn't even I don't know if it locks it down but it like watches your screen and if they have the camera settings on it watches you but she didn't have it set up so I'm like okay am I gonna get penalized for this because you should have had it set up but also I'm not gonna be the one to reach out and be like oh like you forgot the lockdown browser and she puts it on there if you didn't put the lockdown browser on there, that's you. I'm gonna take my exam and I'm gonna keep it pushing. Especially cause I took the exam literally the day that it was due. Like it was due last night at 11.59 and I took it yesterday at like six. So if you didn't have it set up by then, that's not my problem. So sorry. I think this weekend, cause this past weekend, I was gonna do like all of my schoolwork and get a majority of the stuff done and out the way for that class and my math class but i got kind of wrapped up in things i also was like kind of sick so it wasn't priority number one for me but also i have plenty of time to do it like i have at least after tomorrow i think i have two more weeks until my next assignment is due i just want to go ahead and get like the simple assignments done so then all i have to do is take like tests and that's it this morphe like mini i think it's called like the mini cloud puff or whatever i got it with the new blush that they came out with they had a free gift or if you bought the blush you got a mini one of these and honestly whenever this one's like dirty enough to the point where i can't use it anymore i'm gonna go buy the three pack because this is perfect for blending out concealer doesn't absorb too much product it's small can fit right underneath the eye and in the inner corner like this is this little guy right here is absolutely worth it i posted a tiktok yesterday and it was that challenge or whatever where people are dming their favorite like either celebrity or influencer and being like how many likes or whatever does it take for me to get this and i did mine with tony bravo i 
DM'd her, like messaged her on TikTok. And I was like, how many likes do I have to get from you to send me like a box of your favorite makeup? And she was like, get, she told me 100,000 likes and then she commented on the actual post that I made. She was like, I was exaggerating a little bit, only need 10K. So I'm hoping to get 10K likes because to get a box of makeup from Tony Bravo, the CEO of Blush, and also her favorite makeup at that, would be a dream come true. And I think her and I are like similar in shade. If I'm not mistaken, she might be a little bit darker than me, but not much. I think I might've put too much blush on. And I think I might've put it too low. Matter of fact, I did. I'm actually using Tony Bravo's powder routine because she posted a TikTok and she was like, the reason why your makeup isn't looking good is because you're not using enough powder. And she uses three different powders when she does her makeup. So I was like, okay, let me give it a little try. She goes in with the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and like a fluffy brush just to set her under eyes as like the initial layer. And then she actually goes in with like a loose setting powder to set her under eyes again. I'm using the one size setting powder in the shade Rich Peach. This shade is kinda, I don't know, it's gonna have to grow on me some more. I'm not absolutely in love with it. I still feel like it's too peachy every time I put it on. But once I finish up my makeup, it looks fine. But the initial putting it on, it looks a little scary. I was watching a different TikToker and she said that the one size setting powder is too clunky and too grainy or something like that. Which honestly I can see it because even in the little component itself you can see how it clumps together. You take a powder puff. As part of her routine you take the powder puff and set the under eyes. And the last step you take the Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder and set the rest of your face and that's it. That's like her whole powder routine. And honestly, it looks really good, especially because it kind of saves that rich peach powder because, like I said, I feel like it's too too peachy and it makes my under eyes look very orangey. To kind of save the powder from looking like that, I'd take my Juvie's Place bronzer and dark. I've had this for a minute. Like, I honestly want to say three years? Yeah, I think I've had this for three years and you're definitely only supposed to keep it for 12 months. But then my concern, the product works good, the product doesn't break me out, so I still have it even though it's three years old. Because this was like the first bronzer that they came out with. I feel like that was actually meant for my skin tone. Every other bronzer was too light or the undertone was weird or if it was more of a contour. I mainly only use the bottom shade. Every now and then I'll use the top one, it just depends. Another new pickup that I got over the weekend was the Rare Beauty Powder Blush in Truth. This isn't like their regular blush formula, it's like the blush highlighter thing. And when I tell y'all this color is fat on my skin tone, I was very nervous at first because I was convinced. I was like, I don't think the shades that she came out with, like I like my makeup to look a certain way. And I didn't think that the shades she came out with would work with my skin tone and how I like my makeup to look. So I was nervous. But then I swatched this on the back of my hand in the store and I was like, oh, th this is tea. This is absolutely gorgeous. And you don't need that much. As y'all see, I put way too much on. But I'm just gonna like lay it down and then brush it out with a different brush. The same one that I used the Charlotte Tilbury powder for is what I'm gonna use to kind of blend it with the rest of my makeup because it can look a little intense. The last step I'm gonna do before I do my mascara is Inner Corner Highlight. I love this Dior palette. I've kind of put it on the back burner a little bit since I got that new blush. It's just hard for me to keep things in rotation. Like once I get a new product, that becomes like my fixation and then I never touch the old one and then I end up buying new makeup and it's just a constant cycle. I used the Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara the other day and I honestly didn't like it. Which is weird because that was like my holy grail for a minute. That was the only mascara that I would use. But now that I kind of know like my lashes and what works best for them, it's just too light and it separates too much. Not necessarily too much, but it separates and doesn't give volume. And I'm at the point where I need all the volume I can get. I was using this setting spray because I thought this was going to be a dupe for the one size setting spray. And it indeed is not. Down to the spritzer and everything, that setting spray I don't like. It doesn't set my makeup. Like when I spray it, my face is still like oily and shiny for a minute. Like I don't think it ever sets down. But people were hyping it up. So I swore it was going to be good and it was going to work for my skin. But I sprayed it and I was like, I'm not impressed. This is not giving what it needs to give. I did go on TikTok shop and order the L'Oreal 3 Second Setting Spray because it was, I don't know if it still is, but at the time which I purchased it, it was like a TikTok exclusive. And if anything, I feel like that one might be a close runner up for the one size because that one definitely is not. I'm trying to decide if I should go home this weekend or not because I know for a fact I'm not going home next weekend because I'll be in Tuscaloosa that Friday and I'm not going to want to drive two and a half hours back to Huntsville. 
so I'll, I'll be in Tuscaloosa from like 11 to like probably like 5 because I scheduled a wax appointment with the lady there because the one that's in Huntsville I'm not able to get in with her because of my work schedule I was like okay I'll be in Tuscaloosa and I can go to the other girl that I used to get waxed by and her earliest appointment is four so I'll be there for a couple hours which to be honest I don't know what I'm gonna do in the meantime because the panel that I'm speaking on I think I only have to be there from it's not that long actually it might be longer than I think it is I feel like it said either 11 to 1 or 11 to 2 but my plan is to get to Tuscaloosa like and pretty much go straight to the school so then once we're done wrapping up our, oh, I should have kept my social security card, I was thinking about it. Once we're done wrapping up the actual Bama Bound transfer session, I can go to my apartment and do like some general stuff. Cause I need to pick up a few things. I don't have any batteries for this camera. I thought I brought them with me. Turns out I left them in Tuscaloosa. So I've been using the MiFi charger to charge the camera, which is probably not good for it so I need to do that and also I'm gonna bring back a couple more pairs of jeans because I have jeans here but I didn't know that on Fridays we could wear jeans so I only brought like one or two pair and I've been rotating between those every Friday so I'm gonna bring back one more pair and then I'll have my wax appointment honestly don't remember what my Tuscaloosa apartment looked like I remember when I was leaving like the day before I moved out it was so sad like, it was such a sad apartment like, it didn't even feel like mine because it was so empty like I took the TV home because they say that they don't regulate or like really watch specific apartments but they try to keep in touch of who's not there just in case someone does try to break in so like that's obviously the biggest thing like my tv's not there my closet's pretty it's not empty it mainly has i think like winter clothes in it and a few summer pieces i'm not staying that i can tell you that now i'm not staying that i'm tuscaloosa not that i don't like my apartment but like tuscaloosa during the summer mm, don't know about it recently i've been in this mood i think it's because i've been sick the past couple days where i don't want to eat anything especially not my own cooking like i pretty much refuse to eat my own cooking at the moment it's not because i can't cook and it's not like i don't already have food prepared i just refuse to eat it for some reason like it doesn't sound appetizing not something i want to eat like i have steak and i was gonna make steak sandwiches last night but by the time i got back to my apartment and like settled in and got out the shower and stuff it was already six o'clock and if you know me, I have said this time and time again, I do not digest steak well. So if I'm eating steak, I need to eat it early in the day. Otherwise, I will be up in the middle of the night in excruciating pain. I don't have to worry about dinner tonight because I'm like 98% sure that because we're at the stadium, there there's either going to be food there that they're providing or there will be food there to purchase. My camera just cut off for some reason. I have no idea who we're playing. I know absolutely nothing about the UFL. I just know that we have a Birmingham team. And I want to say we're getting a Huntsville one. Don't quote me on that. When I get off work, I am going to crimp my hair for the game because I feel like that'll look really cute. Still don't know what I'm wearing. I have not a clue. I know it's going to be hot. Here is the dress. It's not ugly. It's just long. Like, I never, ever wear long dresses. So it might take me a minute to get used to. But I usually am sitting at my desk anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But this is the fit. Dress is from TJ Maxx. Shoes are from Marshall. Necklace is from Coco Lily Designs. Earrings are Amazon. Apple Watch covers Amazon. And then rings are K Jewelers and TJ Maxx. So this is a fit. Super simple, cute. Like I said, I'm gonna be sitting at work all day, so it's fine. Let's try the Starbucks again after my last experience. Good morning, how are we doing today? Good morning. Um, I had spoke to someone on Monday about an order that was incorrect, and she said to just come back through and let y'all know. Okay, what order was it? It was an iced London fog. I know that the lady said not to order that through the drive-thru because it takes too long. Okay, uh, here's the thing. We're out of ice today. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can come by and we'll give you a $4 card because you're having a lot of extra trouble. Um, but yeah, we can't do an iced London fog because no ice. Okay. Uh, but the next time you, you can order through the app and be like, give me a nice line of fog and show up five minutes later and we got it for you. Okay. I'm sorry. You're fine. I'll just come through another day. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. How are you out of ice? Like... You can go up to the Publix, to the Walmart. There's literally a Publix across the 
street. Sorry, my camera fell. There's literally a Publix across the street. You can go get some ice. So how in the world are you out of ice? Like, every single time I come here, I'm disappointed. <laughs> like, that has to be a joke. Got the cameras. They are, what, 0 for 2 at the moment. Before that, things were smooth sailings, but that's when I was just ordering through the app. But the moment I wanted to order something different through the app, they act like that was just such a difficult task. I'm genuinely trying to figure out how are you out of ice? Ice? Like, that's actually hilarious. Let me put Duncan in my GPS, which I hate coming from this direction trying to go to Duncan because it, I don't know. Something about this one particular area really just throws my GPS for a loop. I'll probably just go through the drive through because it's 7.47 right now. And by the time I get there, it'll be 7.49. I cannot wait to call my dad and tell him about this one. Because how are you out of ice? Okay, I'm headed back to Duncan because I get to work. I literally have everything in my hand. I'm out the car. I drop my freaking coffee. I mean, I have like maybe four or five sips of it. Splat. So now I'm going back to Duncan. <laughs> like, are you serious? Literally, as soon as I get to work, I spill my coffee. Luckily, it was outside, though, so I didn't have to, like, clean up a mess. I just picked up my cup and threw it away, and then, obviously, the ice and stuff is going to melt. But I'm so hurt. Despite my morning and me spilling my coffee literally as soon as I get to work, I actually had a really good day. Didn't... I did work, but I didn't do too much. Like, the task that I did ended up taking a good bit of the day, which was nice because I was able to finish my task up from yesterday around lunch. And then there was, like, supplemental tasks to that same thing. And then tomorrow I have, like, my annual meet or my weekly meeting with my supervisor to go over, like, how I stand. Or not necessarily how I stand, but, like, stuff I've been doing. Do I need help with anything? Am I stuck? This, that, and the third. So... We're all caught up on that. I'm actually getting ready for the game. It's 5-11 right now. The game is not until 7, but he's handing out like the vouchers for the food and the drinks at 6.40. And parking is a hassle, so I really need to leave around like 6. So I'm crimping my hair because I didn't want to do anything else to it. I didn't want to curl it and I didn't want it straight. So I was like, let's crimp it because the way that I had it was not cute. I am bringing this camera with me but I don't know if I'm gonna have like a cute enough outfit on to wanna get pictures or what the case may be, what the vibes are, if I'm gonna be in the pictures or not. Honestly, would really love like a hat to wear, which I know sounds weird, especially cause I'm crimping my hair, but like a really cute hat with the outfit that I have going on would be nice. But, but because the company that I work with, like we helped, I think renovate, either renovate or build the stadium. I'm not 100% sure, but we basically get like box seats that we get to be in, so that'll be nice. And all the interns and co-ops were invited. I don't know if all of them are going. I know one of the interns that's like in the same building as me, he sits right behind me actually. Um, he's going, so I already told him, I was like, okay, I'm gonna sit with you. And he's like, I'm friends with some of the interns in the main building, so you can sit with us. And I'm like, okay, sounds good. And I was like, I literally don't know hardly any of the interns in the co-ops. And it's not because it's hard for me to make friends, but like, I'm not near them. So the other interns, they're mainly like in their little area and I don't ever go over there because I don't need to. We don't really have anything in common, so there's nothing to talk about. And then the interns in the main building, I never go in the main building unless there's food. That's sort of the only time I go in there. So I just, I don't necessarily connect with them outside of that, but because his role is IT and like support and stuff, he has to go to the main building to help people all the time so he passes them. So it's a little bit different. I do know some of them though, like one of the guys, in the main building, um, him and I talked. When did we talk? Oh, when we went to Top Golf, like our first like social thing. Him and I like had a conversation, just kind of talked a little bit about like where we're from, this, that, and the third. But that was literally it. <laughs> like, I know him, one girl, and then another guy that goes to UA. The makeup actually still looks really good. It's just the nose; it's a little shiny, but it's okay. The blush, I'm obsessed with I love this blush especially with like the cream and then the powder on top I feel like it melted and blended everything my gosh this freaking bug everything together perfectly I've been trying to kill it and like I'm like too slow I've literally tried to hit this thing like five or six times and I'm too slow for it crimping my hair is not hard it's just it takes a lot and I hate doing the under part because funny story I have shoulder burn or have burns on both of my shoulders from crimping my hair. Why is this one not 
crimping well. I love wearing my hair crimped because I feel like this is when I get the most compliments and when people think my hair looks the most like mine. Obviously, all the hair that's on my head did not grow out of my scalp. However, it is mine because I paid for it. But whenever it's crimped, it just blends so beautifully together. When it's freshly curled, it blends together really well too. It's just fresh curls don't last very long because it only lasts on dirty hair. And when I curl my hair when it's dirty, it doesn't look as good. We're gonna crimp this and then I'll come back when I finished and we're putting on the outfit and we're heading out the door. Okay, finished my hair, it looks really good. I'm trying to decide if I wanna switch earrings. Like these earrings aren't bad, but something maybe a little bit more simple because the necklace is like a little bit more, I don't know. Putting on the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in cheat three, whatever. Lord, I need to hurry up. Then I'm gonna go in with the same, the e.l.f. lip oil on top in Rose Indy. I didn't touch up my makeup or anything. I literally just took the backs of my hands like this and like that. That's how I blot whenever I don't have something I actually blot with, but this is the fit. Bodysuit is from Target two years ago and they no longer sell it and I wish they did because I would have bought four or five of these in whatever color they had. And then the jeans you can't see, but they're from American Eagle. I post them on my TikTok. They're like the jeans with the rips and the cuffs. And then I'm gonna put on my Tevas, so. We're gonna head out the door because it is 6.15. Game starts at seven. And I have to find parking and do all this other stuff. So we really need to get going. Uh, I was gonna say, wait, it's Thursday? Yeah, he's got that one. You were right, the one <laughs> year theory is true. 